ओके बेटा लुक इन टू दिस स्टेटमेंट अगेन वी नीड टू टेल वेदर इट इज ट्रू फॉल्स और अनसर्टेन दिस इज सेम इन प्रैक्टिस टू वेरिएबल रिग्रेशन मॉडल इज यूजलेस बिकॉज द बिहेवियर ऑफ डिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल कैन नेवर बी एक्सप्लेन बाय अ सिंगल एक्सप्लेनेटरी वेरिएबल वेल डू वी यू नो इन दिस केस आई वोट से दैट दिस इज ट्रू आई वोट से इट इज फॉल्स आई विल से इट इज अनसर्टेन स्टेटमेंट द आंसर इज दैट समटाइम्स इट मे बी ट्रू एंड समटाइम्स इट मे बी फॉल्स राइट so a lot of times there exists regression equation which can simply be explained through one variable right so for example i can go ahead and i can say that consumption is a function of disposable income now in this case what happens is even though my r square may come approximately say 0.89 then what would this mean beta it would mean that there is 89% of variation in consumption that can be explained due to income right so if suppose r square comes out to be 0.89 so i am saying 89% of variation in consumption can be explained due to variation in income now you may want to go ahead and argue with me that ma'am you know what there is an extra variable of wealth or the assets of parents which may affect my consumption well it may but a lot of times what we want to do is we want to keep the model simple right and let's say that suppose adding the wealth or the asset variable suppose when i add wealth and asset variable it does increase the amount of variation i can explain in consumption right suppose the amount of variation explained in consumption increases to 92% but the question is is it worth making the model so complicated that i include two more variables just to increase 3% more variation uh, explained variation in consumption or should i just assume these to be part of my error term right so a lot of times what happens is that and you will understand this with time when you go to multiple regression model a lot of times we don't want to include extra variable and we want to keep the model simple if majority of variation can be explained through this variable we don't want to include new variables just to increase the explanation by a little more amount matlab agar mujhe ye samajh mein aa raha hai ki kisi ki bhi income 89% तब बढ़ती है जब uh, किसी की भी कंजम्पन 89% तब बढ़ती है जब इनकम बढ़ती है इफ आई एम एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट 89% ऑफ वेरिएशन इन कंजम्पन इज ड्यू टू इनकम देन आई वेरी वेल डोंट वांट टू एक्सप्लेन द रिमेनिंग 11% अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम्स बिकॉज़ इट मे मीन मेकिंग द मॉडल वेरी कॉम्प्लिकेटेड राइट सो फॉर एग्जांपल कंजम्पन कैन बी अ फंक्शन ऑफ साइकोलॉजिकल इंपैक्ट सम साइकोलॉजिकल वेरिएबल and this psychological variable can be very difficult to uh, calculate right so i don't want to put a lot of my time and effort in calculating this psychological variable and making my model complicated when i can actually work with an easier model right so that is why we can go ahead and we can say that yes sometimes working with a single variable is better but sometimes it becomes of utmost importance to include an additional variable right so for example we know right that gdp is not just defined by one thing gdp may be a function of a lot of things right so i for example know that if y represents gdp it is a function of consumption investment net exports government expenditure etc right so here it is compulsory for me to include multiple variables whereas in this case it is not much compulsory for me to include a lot of variables and income may suffice right so we may not just say that always that you know uh, one variable is enough and we may not say always that more than one variable is enough it depends from model to model so it's neither always true nor always false okay 